So in this problem, a uh, stone is catapulted from ground level at an angle of 38 degrees to the horizontal. If the stone hits the ground 27 metres from its point of projection, find its speed of release and the time it is in the air. So the first thing that we'd like to do is uh, draw a little diagram just to visualise what's going on. So here's the stone being thrown up into the air and landing. It's got that initial speed that I don't know of you. Uh, it's projected at an angle of 38 degrees to the horizontal, and it hits the ground 27 metres from where it started. OK, so that's what's going on. Right, so... Acceleration, then, the acceleration vector. Now, we know that it's not accelerating in the horizontal direction. Uh, it's only going to be accelerating in the vertical direction under gravity, so minus 9.8j. So now we integrate and add in the initial conditions. So velocity, OK? Now the velocity, uh, 0 integrates to a constant, so u cosine 38 i. And then integrating this, but adding in the initial conditions. So we're going to get uh, u sine 38 as the initial condition for the velocity in the vertical component. Uh, take away 9.8t. Then the displacement. So we're going to get ut cosine 38i plus ut sine 38, take away 4.9t squared j, where the initial conditions are that I'm starting from 0, 0. OK? So these are the equations that I need. OK, so what can I utilise here? Well, I know that um, when uh, I hit the ground, I'm 27 metres from the initial starting position. So I know that the displacement uh, at the end when the stone hits the ground is 27. OK, so I know that I need the UT cos 38 to be equal to 27. OK, so I need the horizontal component displacement to be equal to 27 at this particular time. I also know that I need the vertical component of the displacement to be zero at that point because it's hit the ground. And this gives me two equations that I can now work with and solve. OK, to work out the t, the time that it's in the air, and u, that initial speed. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to rearrange uh, equation 1 to get u equals, and then I'm going to substitute it into equation number 2. So I'm going to work out the time first, and then I'm going to come back and work out the initial speed. So if I rearrange number 1, to get u equals, I'm going to get 27 over t cosine 38. I'm now going to substitute that into equation number 2. So I've got the 27 over t cos 38 times the t sine 38. Take away the 4.9 t squared is equal to 0. So the t's here will cancel out. So I can simplify that fraction to 27 sine 38 over cos 38. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the 4.9t squared to both sides. I can divide both sides by the 4.9. And that's t squared. So I can pop that into my calculator and square root it. So we've got the 27 sine 38 
divided by 4.9 times cosine 38, which gets me 4.305, etc. Square root that, and I get 2.0748. 2.0748, etc. So 2.1 seconds to two significant figures, okay? Because gravity is given two significant figures, so the time's only good for that as well. So that's how long the stone is in the air. I can now substitute that back into this equation to get u. So 27 over the 2.07, etc. times cos of 38. So I want to keep that number in my calculator, OK? Use the answer key here. So 27 over answer key times cosine 38. And I get 16.5136, etc. So 17 metres per second to two significant figures, OK? And that's how I can solve this problem.